स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग द इन वैलिड ओ टी पी रिसीव्ड वेन द पेंशनर लॉग्स इन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो वेन द पेंशनर ट्राइज टू सबमिट द डिक्लेरेशन ही रिसीव्स एन इन वैलिड ओ टी पी एंड दस ही कैनॉट प्रोसीड फर्दर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दिस इज ड्यू टू आधार कार्ड not being updated properly so we in this video we will learn how to update the aadhar card for updating the aadhar card head towards the sparsh website and in this website you go scroll down and find view all services and click on it here another page will open with view all services as heading and under it you find update aadhar then click on this update aadhar after clicking on aadhar on the right side click on continue a next page will come with the heading update aadhar here you have two options either you can fill the sparsh ppo number or the ppo number which is there in your discharge book either of this you can fill in after filling the details you should click on verify and proceed i will fill in the ppo sparsh ppo number and click on verify and proceed another dialog box will come where you have to fill in the aadhar number after you fill in the aadhar number you click on verify and proceed after that a pop up will come telling aadhar demigration demographic validation validated successfully click on okay and this makes your aadhar updated in sparsh now let us say that you do not know ppo number provided by sparsh and you also do not know the ppo number which is there in your discharge book so how to then update the aadhar number i will show you the shortcut for that you click on the home which is there on the left side which will take you to the main page of sparsh now we are on the main page of sparsh now you scroll down and again click on view all services after you click on view all services this page will come view all services under which you click on know your sparsh ppo and identification status after that click on continue on the right side here a new page please check your identification status after 48 hours of request submission will come and then unique identifier in this there will be a drop down in that drop down there will be four options first is bank account number second is personal number third is sparsh ppo number then fourth is e ppo number so whatever option you select you have to fill in the next block accordingly suppose you select personal number which i would suggest because everybody remembers their personal number so once you have selected personal number here in this a unique identifier fill in the personal number here along with check suffix in capital after doing this then this captcha code is to be filled in this small box and after doing this you click on search i will fill on all the details and click on search after clicking on search scroll down to the next page in the page after you scroll down you will find your original ppo number that is ppo number which is written in your discharge book your name your sparsh ppo number will be here you can copy this number and use it for aadhar updation here your pers uh, personal number or gpf number will be there aadhar number will be reflecting here you can check whether your aadhar number is correct or wrong and then you can also note down your pan number whether it is correct or and even mobile number so after you can use this sparsh ppo number to further 
update your aadhar as i shown you in the previous part of this video so with this i end this video if you would like to encourage this channel please subscribe like share comment meet you with the next video till then goodbye